beautiful people! How are you all doing today? My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and in style. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And this is where I do anything and everything creative. So for today, I've been receiving a lot of requests about a spiral rose. A spiral rose is actually a fantasy rose, just like this one. Okay, you see that? And I'll be sharing with you all the techniques, even the marbling on how to color this one. Okay, so it's very easy to make as long as you follow the techniques. And of course, um, if you have other flower requests that you want to learn or a cake decorating technique, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to check them out. So what are you waiting for? Let's start! For you to make a spiral rose, which is the fantasy rose, all you have to do is uh, you need to have a base for the flower, okay? So for this time, we'll be using pure gum paste. So basically, this is one inches. Okay, it's a round ball and then I pinched up the top so it became a teardrop. And then I inserted a barbecue skewer. You can also use a floral wire if you want, but I find using barbecue skewer more effective for me. Okay, so this one I dried half a day or overnight. And you see that? It's very hard. Okay, so for the size of the cutters that we'll be using, I'll be using cutter number one and cutter number three. Okay, so how do you determine the size of the cutter? So first, for the first set of petals, all you need to do is to place a cutter right on top, okay, just to measure. So it should be around almost half of the bud, okay? And then for your final petal, it should be at least the size of your bud, just like so. So for the measurements of this one, this is around 2 cm, okay, and then this is... 3.5 centimeter okay so we need to roll and cut around 10 to 15 pieces of this one and 10 to 15 pieces of this one also okay so 15 and 15 okay and then you can add more if you want but that's my standard number Okay, so right now we have 15 pieces of this size and 15 pieces of this size. Again, you could go more if you want to make it fuller, but this is my standard number of petals. Okay, so for the smaller petals, which will be the inner petal, this is 2 cm okay, in diameter. So what you have to do, you need to thin out the edges. Okay, so just pull and push the sides, okay? Just like so. And now the size is already, let's measure, this is already 3 cm, okay? So from 2 cm, it became 3 cm. And then after you expanded the petal, you need to put this back inside the container so it won't dry out, okay? And then for the bigger petal, 
you have to do the same okay so just expand okay my table is squeaking <laughs> okay so expand just like that okay so this one from three centimeter it's already now five centimeter okay so what you need to do next I'll just go around the edges okay to make it freely just like that and then you need to get a spoon okay and you need to put this on the spoon just like so and then press backwards okay you have to press the frills backwards actually it should not be too wavy okay so you have to flatten it out a little bit so when you're doing some frills don't frill this too much okay and then you have to let this dry like that okay so you have to do this on all the petals that are bigger okay and then later on we will assemble one by one okay so right now we'll be attaching the petals so as you see here my bigger petals are already drying up on the spoon so we just have to leave it there so we'll first work on with the center okay so because that's what actually defines the fantasy spiral rose okay so what I have here is edible glue okay so I just wet my brush with the edible glue and then I'll be getting first five pieces of the smaller petals okay these are the five pieces okay so the very first petal you have to wet it all as in entirely all okay and then you need to put it at this level you see that there's an excess okay and then I will fold that and I'll fold it again okay because the center should be really really close okay that's how it should look like and then we'll proceed with adding so I'll just add glue on the left side okay and then I will put it on my bud you see at that level okay see that I'll fold okay and then I'll get another one so when you started putting glue on the left side all of your petals should have glue on the left side at first okay if you started on the right all should have on the right okay so here I'll put glue okay that the excess on your hands okay so I'll put glue all on the left side and then what I will do here at the same level I'll just put here okay okay so you see that instead of me inserting here I'm working on a backward motion okay because this for me is easier to make a swirl see that okay then I'll add another one the leveling should be just the same okay see that so we will close all these petals later on okay so what you can do you can actually just play with it a little bit so it's gonna be a little bit upright okay and then we get the other set of petals again the smaller ones by the way the paste we marbled it so a while back you have seen the technique of how I do marbles you can also apply it in your fondant okay so put all glue on the left side okay and then I'll start attaching okay then get another one and attach okay you see that so now we are slightly having this some kind of illusion that it's really swirly okay so what I have to do now using your barbecue stick I'll press this inner see that and then slowly 
I will start closing this okay just like that but not too much okay so I'll put glue here close it a little bit okay put glue here close a little bit but not too much okay put glue here and then I close a little bit okay put glue here and then I close before I close this one I can actually add some here okay so that we are having the illusion of the double swirling petals see that okay see the effect okay then I'll put some glue here and then I'll close it a little bit not too much okay and then I will do the same with the other petals also so this one you can move this more inner okay using your barbecue stick and this you can actually make it more open So we'll take this out. Same procedure, you need to put glue okay, on the left side. Okay, so here I'll open this a little bit and then I will insert this one right here. Put it at the same level, okay. And then we put glue here close a little bit okay so now we close all the petals so that we can see the final swirl okay okay so here you'll see what the swirl looks like okay so we would want to open this a little bit more. Okay. So you can do that using a barbecue stick. Okay. Just gently open it a little bit. Okay. Just like that. See that? Because you want the spirals to be seen. So if you want, what you can do, um, so you see here, I would want to press it a little bit up. So I'll put some glue here. Okay, and then I'll press it down here. So that you see the petals is a little bit getting upper. Okay. So there you have it. You see it's a very beautiful swirl so we will work on with the next set of our smaller petals okay so to do that since we ended let's say we ended here so I'll add one here okay I'll add another just insert Okay, so after you insert, you need to close this one like that, okay? Insert, close. Then open this up a little bit. See that? Okay, and then you just have to do it continuously, adding petals at a time. See that? put some glue here and then close then open this up a little bit okay and then once you're done with all the smaller petals we'll proceed with the bigger petals okay okay so right now we are done with all the smaller petals you see that there's a very nice swirl um actually this is also called as a pinwheel rose because it's like a pinwheel at the center so we'll start adding the the bigger petals so you have to apply the same technique okay so you just put glue first on the left side on the left side lower okay just like that and then for the level okay i'll attach it here should be a little higher okay 
see that? I only press where there is glue. Okay, and then same procedure. So instead of inserting it here, I'll go backwards. Okay. See that? So that's how you should do it. So I'll keep on inserting and inserting until I am done. Okay. Okay, so when you reach this point, you see um, it's already done, so you have to close it. So to close this one, of course, I'll just add some glue here and then close a little bit but not too much, okay? Add a little glue. Add a little glue, close. Okay, add a little glue and then close. Okay, add a little glue and then close. Add little glue and then close. Okay? See that? And then we will open this more. Just pinch, okay, pinch, pinch, and pinch. Okay, and then you still have a lot of petals, so you have to go the next round, which is lower. Okay, so I'll insert it here. See that? Okay. So just the same procedure until everything is done, okay? So when you apply glue here, it should be at this level, okay? You're attaching it at the bottom part, okay? See that? It's very pretty. So technically, all is like swirling, okay? There's like movement. That's what you have to keep in mind in creating this one. Okay.